the two notes together do provide this very uh, dissonant uh, sound, right? And uh, they, they create uh, what we call a turbulent sound. So uh, the two notes are jarring up against each other very, very fast. You can hear this blah, 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 as the, as the, the notes are uh, rubbing. So if I do it low, lower down, you can, you can hear the wah, 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 wah sound. And that's the, you know, because a, 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 a note makes a sine wave, you know, sine waves like this. And when you have two notes that are so very close together, but not together, then those sine waves are very close to, uh, together, but not the same. And it's sort of like you see two waves coming from slightly different directions into a shore and they bang against each other and then the waves crash and make a big mess. And that's what happens with these two sine waves. They're, they're uh, not quite lining up and so it's creating this uh, dissonant sort of sound, right? So we get this. And, and again, the, the, the term turbulent works well because you think then of turbulent air, like when you're in a plane and it's bucketing around, or uh, turbulence in, in, in the uh, water as well with those uh, waves crashing, right? So, uh, so it's, it's a good term to, to describe the, the, uh, the sound of, of a minor second.